there is another option for college college players, bunny years again, to get paid to play. Now, this has been one of the biggest discussions over the past several years that collegiate players should be paid while attending school because of how much money they make for the university and people that disagree that they shouldn't get paid saying they get free education and room and board and all this. Well, you haven't lived a life of a student athlete. Check out what they do day to day, week to week, month to month, season by season. And let me know why they shouldn't get paid. So there's this new option, a group of organizers with deep NFL ties plans to create a new professional football league. Now, let me pause real quick. This is not going to compete against the NFL. This is simply a farm system, a developmental system. This will allow either top high school recruits to not enroll at any university or a JUCO player wanting to get another shot and more eyes on them or college players simply saying, I I need money because of different situations. We don't know what's happening in their life. Some already have kids. Some have a family already. Some have a family in poverty. And what this money could do, get them out of it. A better living. So it's an alternative to college football that offers a salary. It's called the Pacific Pro Football League. And it will begin in 2018 with four teams based in Southern California. And unlike many other startups, again, it's not going to be competing with the NFL. It's co-founded with uh, Don Lee, the league CEO. Uh, He is also an agent. Uh, Also, Ed McCaffrey, former NFL wide receiver. You have Mike Shanahan, Mike Piera, who is famously seen on Fox. He was an NFL officiate. Uh, Adam Schefter's in and a few others. Organizers hope to expand beyond California at some point, but right now, It's all going to be in California. Average player salary is going to be $50,000 a year, uh, which is pretty solid. It's good living. The league initially will play a six to eight game season that runs through July to August. So it won't affect during the NFL time or college football. Uh, And it's it's perfect. It's really perfect in, in a way that it's being created right now. Players will also be offered tuition and uh, books at a community college if they want to. The thing is, when a player is hired or signed, whatever you enroll, whatever you want to call it for this, they their college eligibility is gone. They could play, they just sign the paperwork all four years, three years, two years, one year, anything that they have is gone. They cannot transfer. They cannot go play in college football anywhere else. This is just, you know, it is a professional football league, though it's really looked at as a developmental league. So I think this is perfect. Officials expect initially to rely heavily on junior college players. Those uh, with a year or two uh, with college experience, kind of seasoning under them. And rosters could be filled with players who don't academically qualify for four-year schools or have a little bit of college experience and want to play. And I I think it's perfect. I I like this decision, and I think it'll force NCAA to really take a serious look and stop being so damn greedy to pay college players. It has to happen. There are ways to get it done. I mean, you just look at the money, the amount of money each school brings. Alabama, just in the national championship or this football season, made over $103 million, roughly. Reported income, 103 for just Alabama, $103 million. And I'll be, well, the facilities, the coaches, well, maybe the coaches should take a pay cut. I'm talking even to Nick Saban, $9 million? When you got players who have families who are struggling that are making this money for you, there are different ways. I think this is perfect. It'll, within a few years, I think it'll push the NCAA to finally start paying some players because eventually we're going to see some top high school players just say, you know what? I'm going to take this route. You're going to start seeing some Juco players go. 
maybe some college players end up saying, you know what? I don't want to deal with school. I don't want to deal with the hassle of it. I can get my degree later. Let me just go play football. I don't know. I like this. Let me know in the comment section what you believe. I, I like this. I like this option by uh, the Pro Pacific Pro Football League. It's going to be nice.